Edis when I met here, just under the uh, big day of servicing, under the GQ here, and I've got it warmed up, it's not too bad, I had her out this morning, and I'm dropping the oil out of the big girl. Now, I do the oil in this thing every six months, it's more a time thing than a, than a kilometre thing, and uh, so what I'm just doing here, I've got two two oil containers, as you will see, draining in, ready to go. As soon as one starts to fill up pretty severely, I'll just move the other one across. Because these things hold, with a filter, which I'm doing today, 8.2 litres. 8.2 litres of oil. So, uh, yeah, she's getting up there now. Uh, Big deer. Uh, I like big oil capacity. Uh, oh. From, hang on a second. Let's move that across. Didn't spill too much. Um, oil changing engines, which I've been doing for a lot of years. Always done most of my own oil changing. Um, with my sedan, I had an AU Ute, Falcon Ute, and uh, a lot lower to the ground, so look, a couple of times a year I just get it in the mechanics, just get them to drop it. it was, oh, look, they nearly change the oil as cheap as I can change it myself because they obviously get oil for a better price because they go through so much of it, so. But at least once a year, I, um, I uh, get it into the mechanics, mechanics I've known in this town for years. Big Dave and Little Dave, well, Little Dave's, which he's not that little, but he's bought the business off Big Dave. Now, Big Dave, Big and Little Dave. Well, I used to work with Big Dave in a mechanical workshop when we were young fellas, extremely good mechanic. And Little Dave was taught by Big Dave, and Little Dave's turned out to be a good mechanic just like Big Dave. <laughs> How's that for a bit of, bit of comedy in here? No, they're good mechanics, they're good honest mechanics, and I know their apprentices and that, and their tradies. And so once a year I get in and they go over it, and I've just had the auto serviced, um, as you can see, and because uh, these, aren't, these aren't a cheap automatic to rebuild, and this has been rebuilt only about a year prior to me buying this vehicle. That's one of the main reasons why I bought it, because I like automatics, and... And uh, old mate, he spent, uh, I think it was close to $6,000 on an auto service. But uh, that's just draining out there. So what I'm going to show you too, I thought you might be interested in this, whilst we're fiddling around with different things. I'm going to clamber in out from under the GQ and just let that drain. Everyone's seen funny oil changing done. This is... This here is my jug. Little bit, hang on. Let me get this right. I've got to get it all over the place. Let's see. This here, YouTubers, is my jug off my spare jug, I should say, off my IT490. Now, just look at that for a cylinder. You know, there's a Mike Tyson fist there. Not really, but that's uh, that's been bored by Serco. They do beautiful work, Serco down in Brisbane. I've got MPE suspension here on the sunny coast. They do anything that I want to get, they send away. And so what I've done, I thought these aren't becoming any more, they're not making any more of these jugs on these. ITs or barrel we call them Australia jug in the US. So I've got a board, I've got a woos and a piston to go in it and all this exhaust port that used to flog out on this, this one isn't flogged out, it's a good neck. But I've only bored my original barrel that's on the bike was bored not long after I got it and I had a mate with his IT490, sorry, YZ490s, his two YZ490s, 
bought one off me because it had too much power for me. And I like the IT because the porting, the exhaust porting and the transfer ports or whatever on them are different to the YZ, so she's more mellow. Uh, still plenty of grunt. She, uh, absolutely bag loads, as nearly swore. Bag load of grunt. But this thing here's still even got the clutch cable bracket that goes on there. Things like that. Um, but yeah, I got this out of the US, not cheap by the time I got it here. But uh, most of the ones in Australia are all buggered. They're just all worn out. So I think this is on second oversize now. It had been bored once. So I got it bored by Serco. Like I said, they've done a beautiful job on it. And I've got rubber, uh, sorry, I've got spray on grease all over it. That's all the stuff you can see on it to keep the ball clean. And um, just thought I'd show you. Thought you might have been a bit excited to look at that. And uh, yeah, so that's going, to, ready to go in the big girl. I mean, I don't know whenever I'll have to do it. It probably won't be for years, if at all. But I just thought, well, bugger it, I'm going to get a spare one of them while I had a few bucks kicking around. And uh, there she blows. And I've got a few other bits and pieces spare from my, my um, IT490 uh, bike I'll never sell. And uh, yeah, so there I just thought, hey Fabiana, I'm, I'm not talking to myself here. How you going? Good, how are you? Just, I'll switch my video off, hang on. Yeah, I'm just going to switch off next door neighbours, just pulled up so I could have a talk to her, when I make out.